Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Lobby, and today guys we're back in Roblox Studio And today guys this is part 2 of how to make your own AFK game in Roblox Studio This is part 2 of the video, but anyway let's get into the video Before we start I would like to apologise for part 2 taking so long, I've just been really busy recently But anyway let's get into also, the video Also before the video starts I would just like to say I do have my very own AFK game and if you would like to donate you sure can. Link will be down in the description below. But anyway, let's get into the video. So last video we ended off with the whole main board working, but a lot of people are asking how to add more donation buttons. For example, 1,000 Robux, 5,000 Robux, or 10,000 Robux. Something like that. So yeah. If you guys have not watched part 1, make sure to go watch that first before you watch part 2. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to want to do first is make sure Explorer and Properties are open. Exploring properties could be anywhere on your screen. They could be here. They could be down here wherever to be honest But if you don't have them anywhere on your screen You want to go to view and make sure Explorer and properties are pressed down just like that And let's go back to home here and let's click on boards so that I'll highlight this part Let's press the arrow down and as you can see we've got everything that we ended off uh, last uh, video also once we have now uh, press the arrow down we want to go to products as you can see products here and right now we only have four products for the IDs and everything okay so and we are now in the product script what you're gonna want to do is go down here you see this um, sort of gray sort of writing you, uh, it says to make more products just copy and paste like this so we're gonna want to go and copy this just copy all this what I'm doing and I'll leave the this part in the um, the description below so you can just do that either so then we want to go copy so that's now copied and then go a line underneath it and then paste so we'll go paste here there we are and now you can see we have got another product so this product can either be for example for this tutorial I'm gonna do this product product as 500 and then um, the product ID which we'll get in a moment then what you want to do is if if you want to add more and more what you can do is just go a line down and then there we are just paste again and then you you can change it to 1000 right, so we'll just put 1000 there and then we'll got the, get the product ID later which we'll do very soon then you want to do is create one more line and then add well you can add as many as you want you can make a bunch but for this tutorial I'm gonna add three so we're just gonna add the product um, uh, part there we're gonna now make this uh, 5000 we'll make this 5000 here so now as you can see we have added three different products and everything here now we're gonna go and get the IDs for them also feel free to pause the video at any time if I did go a bit too fast um, but yeah okay so we're now at the main game that we are going to be creating the developer products in. and don't worry I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the developer products and everything so what you want to do go do is go to your game that you've uh, put the board in go to the three dots up here you can either go configure this place or configure this experience. For this tutorial, I'm going to do configure this place. So let's go. Okay, here. so your screen should look like this now. Uh, configure place and everything. So now you want to go to the left here and go developer products. And as you can see, we've got the past develop developer products we've had before. So now we want to go press create new. Now you can name this whatever you want. You can call it unknown fishy or something like but for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna call it 500 robux price in the robux is gonna be 500 oh 500 there then we just want to press create then we're gonna create two more so create uh, 1000 robux and then the price will be 1000 create and then just need to make one more for, for the, for the 5000 robux one you can make the, your prices anything I it doesn't really matter um, it's fully up to you. We got 5,000 Robux. Let's create it then. And now, as you can see, we have got all the other products in here. So now we want to press the save. We're going to save these. And then we want to go back to the three dots and go configure this place. Go back to where we just came from. De developer products. And as you can see, we need to now find the 500 Robux one. So let's just copy that ID. So copy there. And we want to go back to the main Roblox Studio. Okay, so we are now in the Roblox Studio again. As you can see, we've got the 500 Robux one here. So we want to remove the zero from there. 
and paste in the new product ID. So we're going to go paste. That's all you need to do. Now let's go back to Chrome to go get the 1000 Robux product ID. Okay, so now we're back at the configure place developer products. Let's try find the 1000 Robux there. As you can see, we found the 1000. Let's copy that ID. Copy. And then let's go back to Robux Studio. Okay, so we are now back in Robux Studio. Let's go back here to the 1000 Robux. Remove the zero from there and paste it. Control V, paste, doesn't matter. Now let's head back to the Chrome to get the 5000 Robux product ID. Okay, so we are now back at the developer products. What we're gonna wanna do is find the 5000 Robux one. Let's copy the idea, just highlight it. You can go Control C or just right click copy. And then yeah, let's head back to Roblox Studio. And now as you guys can see, we're, we must find the 5000 Robux uh, product ID. Let's go to the product ID here, remove the zero and paste it. You can right click paste, doesn't matter, Control V. Either way works. Now that is the whole script done. And now when we hop into game, we should have more donation buttons. So the way we can test it, all we're going to want to do is go to file here, go file and publish to Roblox. If your game is already not published to Roblox, you'll just have to create a place and um, upload it to Roblox. But right now we're just going to press publish to Roblox. And now all the script and everything is published to Roblox. So now let's go test it out. Okay, so we are now in the donation game. As you guys can see, there are more now more options to um, donate. We've got the 5 Robux, 10 Robux, 50 Robux, 100 Robux, 500 Robux, uh, 1000 Robux, 5000 Robux. And as you can see, they all do work, so let's press donate 5000 Robux. Obviously, I don't have 5000 Robux right now, so I can't really purchase it. But the 1000 Robux, as you can see, does work. There we are, 1000 Robux. And the 500 Robux. Hopefully, this guy did help you, uh, help, help you guys out. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord, leave a comment down below, um, but yeah. But anyway guys, if you guys are a bit confused on what to do and you need a bit of help, feel free to DM me on Discord, I'll happily help you out. But yeah, but anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did um, enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.